I get this question all the time. People ask me, what's the best way to work out? <laughs> and here's what I'll tell you. Some workouts are better than others, but sometimes you just gotta do you. What is up, people? Jean Carlos here with the Total Body Training Podcast, where I help people get lean, gain muscle, and build some damn confidence. And today, we are talking about this topic, which is some workouts are better than others, but sometimes you gotta do you. So what am I talking about? <laughs> all right. Again, I get this question all the time. People ask me, John, what's the best kind of workout? And my first response is, well, what is your goal? All right? If your goal is to run a marathon, the best kind of thing that you can do is start getting on a running program to help you get there, right? To help you get better, to build up endurance, to help you get better at running. Uh, John, I wanna get better at flexibility, okay? The best thing you wanna do is to go with some yoga or something that's gonna make your body more flexible, right? Or maybe some gymnastics kind of regimen. If your goal is to lose weight and tone up, build some muscle, which is what most people here at my company want to do, then my recommendation is that you strength train. You primarily spend your time strength training. And you know, that being said, you know, if your goal is to get fit, lose weight and tone up, strength training is great, but maybe you don't like it or maybe you're not ready for it. This is important. Maybe you've done the strength training thing and it ain't your thing, right? So you just don't enjoy picking up dumbbells, you don't enjoy picking up barbells, whatever the case might be, it's just not something you enjoy, right? While strength training is one of the best ways, in my opinion, in the opinion of, I don't know, like the health and science, uh, anatomy, physiology, all around the world people, <laughs> exercise science people, if it's the best way to tone up, to put on good muscle and to get lean, then, then you should make the decision. If that's the case, that you just find that it's something that you don't like, what you're going to need to do is find something else that you're willing to do or something that you do like. So maybe the case might be that you really, really just detest strength training, but you would prefer to do Zumba. Or, and you like it, you actually really like moving your body and you like dancing and doing that, or maybe you really like doing yoga. I'm a huge fan of yoga, okay? Now these exercises, they're gonna strengthen you and you're gonna get toned and you're gonna see results. You need to realize that it's not gonna be the same and it's not gonna be quite as effective to do the strength training, but the reason why I say you should go with the thing that you like to do is because your stick to it in this, your ability to stick to something that you don't like doing and forcing yourself to do something that you don't like doing, especially when you're a beginner, is going to be really low if you're doing something you don't like doing. So you should go with something that maybe isn't as effective like one of these other you know, training styles to get in shape and to feel better. Because at this point, if you're not doing anything, then you're really not moving forward whatsoever. So at this point, all we wanna do is get your body moving. We wanna get you in better health. These exercise forms, these modalities are great. They are better than doing nothing. I'm not saying that strength training is better than that. I'm just saying that it might be more effective when it, or it is more effective when it comes to putting on good muscle. But what is more effective, and losing weight, but what is more effective for putting on good muscle, what is more effective for putting on good muscle than doing nothing? Something. <laughs> and so that something that you're going to want to do if you're a beginner is going to be something that you relate to and something that you enjoy. So go ahead, take the Zumba class. Go ahead and take the yoga class. Take the body pump class. Whatever it is that floats your boat and whatever it is that gets you off the couch and gets you moving is a really good way to get started. Now, you might say, but Jean, you know, I mean, I want to get those results now. But John, I've been trying to do this for years and I want to get these results. Yeah, I, I get it. Like, I get that that's what you want, but have you been able to do it? And if the answer is no, if you tried going in strength training and you tried getting a trainer and you tried working with people and you tried everything and it just wasn't your thing, but you know you can stick to one of these other training styles, then go ahead and do the thing that makes you happy. Now, something you might want to keep in mind. A lot of times people don't like something until they get the right kind of something <laughs> or until they're ready. So, you know, strength training. Strength training was something that I wasn't really drawn to immediately. I liked running a lot when I was trying to trim up. Also was under the, the misconception that if I started getting, if I started lifting weights, I'd get big and bulky. I don't know why I thought that. But, you know, I mean, well, I know why I thought that. But back to my point here. If 
you would feel more comfortable going for a jog or going for your run. Keep in mind that in the process of doing that, when you learn to like that and when you find yourself being comfortable with it, keep in mind that after doing that for a couple of months, you might be open to the idea of strength training. Why do I say that? Because sometimes people's immediate reaction to something that they don't enjoy is because they're struggling to do it. So squatting, benching, deadlifting, working with weights is kind of tricky, especially when you're a beginner, especially if you're doing it on your own, especially if you have no clue how to do it. So maybe you do the Zumba class for you know six months and you're stronger and you're feeling better and you say, you know what? I think I'm gonna try out a strength class. You get with a good trainer, someone like myself. If you want to, you can hit the description section of this video. We've got one free class. You can come and work out with us, but maybe it's somewhere else. Maybe you're somewhere else in the country or you don't like my face, you wanna do CrossFit or something else. Then head to somewhere that's good, talk with the people that are there and find somebody who will help you with it. It's really that simple, folks. All I'm saying is that you need to find something to just start and get your foot in and eventually maybe you'll be able to do strength training, maybe you won't. Now, if your goal is to lose weight, it doesn't have to be dependent on your training modality. So you can do Zumba and as long as you're eating correctly and you're cutting calories correctly, you're watching your macros correctly, you can still lose weight. Let me say that again. You can still lose weight doing that. Now, will it be as effective as if you do the strength training? No. but. If you're following those calories, you will lose weight just if you're exactly how you're supposed to if you're following a proper nutrition plan. And that is my point here, is that you've just got to stick to something. You've got to find the thing that you want. You've got to get clearly defined goals for your weight loss, how you're gonna do it, and couple that with the training modality that you wanna do, and you will see results regardless of what anybody says or what anybody's selling you. Right now, what I'm supposed to do is sell you that this is the only way to do it. I think it's one of the best ways to do it, and I'm proud of that. I think that we cover a lot of good ground here at Total Body Training, but there are other ways to do it. I know there are. They won't be as effective, but they are definitely a great way to get started. Something is better than nothing. Let's get started today, people. All right, thank you so much for tuning in to the podcast today. Until next time, peace. So I went from a size 16 to a size 6'7", and I've lost currently about 60 pounds with TBT. I've lost 60 pounds since I started here, and the body fat that I've lost is 16.2%. I've definitely noticed a lot in like those hard to reach areas, the muffin top, the back fat. It's really slipped down for me. The weightlifting, it's definitely kept me toned, and it's definitely kept me confident to where I can you know, show my legs because I have great quads, you know, with TBT or my arms because I, I can pull myself up or lift. Total Body Training um, offers a uh, one-time uh, free tra training session. So you come in, you get a great workout, and you can decide if you want to join. And definitely you're going to want to join because you won't regret the free workout.